Hello and welcome to this GCSE explainer on caves, arches, stacks and stumps, one of the classic features of the, the coastline. This image here is of the Green Bridge of Wales, okay, and you can see various different features on here. Um, we can see a cave down here, okay, hollowed out by erosion. We've got an arch where the, um, the rock joins a, a vertical column of rock here to the, to the mainland, okay, and it's open to the sea on both sides. We've got a stack down here, a vertical column of rock, and then this down here is a is a stump. So this would have been a stack, but it's been um, eroded down over. Similar example here from Durdle Door in Dorset. Okay, and you can see the classic arch feature there. We've got a beach here, and you've got people on the on the beach for scale. So you can see the size of that. These features here are stacks. Those are arches that have been collapsed and abandoned so all of these would have been connected to this cliff line here it's from the the great ocean road in australia the 12 apostles and this example here is old harry old harry rocks okay on the south coast of the united kingdom made up of layers of chalk vertical uh, column there with horizontal layers of chalk um, and flint and this would have previously been connected to the to the coastline as well you can see here on this image a cave down here and a, an arch Okay, so those were that's what we're looking at, how they are created. So we've got a headland jutting out to sea where the waves can attack it. And within the headland, you might have vertical faults and cracks that can be attacked by the power of the waves by erosive processes. And then we may have um, beds of sediment. In the case of Old Harry Rock, that's beds of chalk laid down um, under the sea. And then the lines in between are called bedding planes. Over time... Processes like wave pounding and hydraulic action, where the wave compress air into the crack, enlarge the crack into a crevice, so we get a bigger, a bigger feature created. And then waves would continue to enlarge the crevice through wave pounding and hydraulic action, coupled with stones thrown against the cliff face in the process of um, attrition and abrasion. Okay, so those um, would break down and create a cave. And then once the cave's hollowed out through enough and connected on both sides, that would be your arch. And that's where your weathering processes will become increasingly important. So you might get freeze thaw occurring on the bedding planes, uh, breaking those up, um, salt crystallization, uh, breaking, breaking rock off as well and weakening this arch. And once the arch is weakened to a certain point, um, gravity will take hold and the arch would collapse, leaving a vertical upstanding stack. And over time, that might be eroded further by weathering and erosion processes to create a stump. Now, don't forget that this sequence is very, very clear and clear steps. And I've mentioned processes right the way through. And that's what you need to know for your GCSE. So in terms of your work, you can describe the landforms on the image. Try to include scale and form. Watch the video on how old Harry forms and write a full description. And then label up these images with those labels and then write a explanation next to each diagram as to how they are created. Okay, so just finish up with a little uh, joke. Why did Durdle Door and the Green Bridge of Wales fall out? Because they are arch enemies. <laughs>